Hi, this is Darlene. Um, it's July 10th, 2011. I'm going to do a video of some more tie-dyes. Uh, about a week or so ago I did a video of some of the tie-dyes that I made last week, the ones that I had made to sell. Um, these are the ones that I made for me, my sister, her boyfriend, and my husband. So um, this is an apron. It's, it's an old stained apron that my sister found at my dad's place when he died and she wanted it colorful so she's going to wear this when she makes her dog biscuits for her business wholesome canine treats um, so she can pick a dad when she works and has something of his and it's kind of brightened up she can't see the stains so much so that's for her this is also for her um, had a stain on it and she wanted it covered up so I did get the stain covered up but unfortunately I didn't get the dye placed very well so it's kind of lopsided in the swirl so I can redo that again, Erica, if you want more color, more blue, or more different color, just let me know. This I made for her boyfriend, as per their request. He's from West Virginia and likes the, what are they, Mountaineers maybe? I don't know, football team? So he wanted it in their color, so that's for him. That's a swirl method. It's a swirl tie with one type of dye placement. And this is another one for him, same colors, same tie method. But different dye placement, so it gives a different look. So those are for him. Uh, this is a washcloth. I had a bunch of, uh, not a bunch. I think I have four left of 100% organic cotton washcloths that I had for my business that nobody was buying. So I just bought them myself, and I dyed one of them to see how well it took. So it worked out. So I'll dye the rest. Um, this one's for me. I love these colors, and this had a my business logo on it. And then I just dyed a white shirt um, to get these more subtle colors. There's not as bold. I wanted light colors. Um, I also use those colors for this. I'm not really into dresses and dressing up, but kind of think it might be a little bit cooler. It's, um, it's nice to have something to wear to you know, have to go to weddings and funerals and stuff. So I uh, dyed this. Got this from the thrift store. Really lightweight shirt. But unfortunately, it shrunk when I did the hot wash to rinse the dye out, so it's tighter than what I wanted. Same with the skirt that I made to go with it. But I'm pretty happy with how it came out. I think it's pretty. I like the color combination. So that's that for me. Let's see, this is also for me. This was also a thrift store white skirt that I just dyed. It's a heavier weight, so it's good for fall. And then I made this to go with it, although if I were thinking I would have done a long sleeve shirt since the skirt's heavier, but eh, I'll still wear this, I'll wear this with shorts. And that has my logo on it too. Um, and one last item for me, this is a um, lab coat. I wear lab coats when I make soap. Um, this particular one, I have a bunch of them, this particular one I had washed with uh, a red towel that I used to insulate my soap and it got this pink and I wasn't able to wash it out so I thought well I'll dye it purples and blues and it'd go well with the pink because I really don't like pink I prefer purples and blues so I dyed it and during the dyeing process and the soda ash soak that I have to do it got the pink out so luckily there's no pink but it's pretty blue and purple now so that's the last one for me this I made for my husband Mark It's the same color combination that I used on the shirt for me. Pretty happy with that that came out. Uh, let's see, this one, I was torn between doing a camo shirt, like a camo pattern, or doing this tie design, so I just did the camo colors with the, this tie design. It's not all that, I don't know, pretty, but good enough. He, he uses these just for work shirts anyway. By work, I mean. <laughs> grungy stuff that gets greasy and dirty and sweaty and icky. This is uh, another attempt at an alien. I think it's my third attempt, I think. And I always have trouble with the eyes. The dye wants to oversaturate and leak into areas that I don't want it. So I need to work on using a thickener or something to try to avoid that in the future. And that's the back. So those are the tie dyes from the last session that I didn't videotape before. So I think I have a record of all of them now. Um, so, that's all. Thanks.